Hello there, and welcome to a bit of Spyro into the Dragonfly. Today we're going to be entering the final level and facing off with Ripto. Perhaps not for the final time either, because he will appear in, I think, at least two Game Boy Advance games. Uh, Attack of the Riptox and Spyro Season of Ice or Flame. I can't remember which one it was. Um, like Some of the boss fights in the Game Boy Advance games were okay. Um, not much to report. I mean, at least it had boss fights. How many have we had so far? Zero. I don't think there's even one that I could even count as a boss fight. I can't remember. Uh, I've been away for a week as well, and I haven't bothered checking out the videos. So, yeah. So here we are in what I think is Jurassic Jungle. Can't break that down yet. <laughs> Aha, Spyro! The R-1000 and the T-Rex 1000s have escaped from their inescapable cages and are running amok through the jungle! Please stop them before they destroy the rest of the science labs and all of our research! No problem. But say, what's a R-1000 something something? Oh, well, to put it in simplified terms that even a dragon can understand, they're mechanically enhanced nanotech propulsion oriented riptox, which uh, we've been working on here in our labs. Uh, quite the state of the art, I might add. <laughs> but, oh, really? And how exactly would I go about destroying these things? Well, we did find a flaw in the R-1000 models when they were uh, exposed to sub-zero temperatures. Perhaps that information will come in useful. <laughs> no problem. I have just the right breath to chill them out. Great! On the other hand, the T-Rex 1000s are quite vulnerable to electricity, yet we've not been able to get close enough to them to zap them with an electrical charge. So, for once, the fire breath isn't really going to work. Except there. The music as well is very good, and I, I th think it should be recording this time. Damage, good to know. It wasn't just for show. Right, I want to double check around here because I don't want to miss any gems in any nooks or crannies whatsoever. Yeah, this is very Stuart Copeland music, I have to say. Uh, instantly recognisable. Like the uh, clash of the electric guitars as well. I'm glad uh, I haven't seen this level before, because it's quite interesting to see um, for the first time. Wow. Yeah, let's go in the background. Oh, rather, not a lot going on in the background. Um, it sort of reminds me of, like, Tyler Tasmanian Tiger, and all the trickles with it. Um, or, like, if this were remastered, you'd be able to see those, like, 2D trees in the background or whatever. That was probably the remaster where they uh, they revealed all. <laughs> They're really trying to use up all the space here, aren't they? Very badly as well, I might say. I'm not gonna lie, it is a nice looking level. Nice enough looking level, at least. But, um, yeah, I can't deny it's not great. Um, and yeah, like this is the last of the levels, unless there's a bonus one that I don't know about. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll get my money back from money bags. Or maybe I won't. Maybe that'll be it. Uh, they forgot to, or they ran out of budget. Just 
by the disc. Uh, random distance is not impressive. Something I don't quite like about 60 FPS is like Sparrow's charge speed does not exactly match his movement. Um, yeah, um, and in the hero's tail, like he moves and like it's more like he has like a gallop or a canter rather than a charge. Um, I've been studying this temple, and it's quite fascinating! I just want to pause for a moment here and have a look at this character's name. Professor Copeland. I do like that they've actually given the musician, at least one of the musicians here, um, a, refer a reference to their name. This is like a funny glass eye as well. Oh That's yeah? Right. How so? Glass lens. Well, I believe that these strange drawings on the walls well, are a clue to something hidden away in this temple. But I can't quite decipher them yet. <laughs> yes, and from what I have been able to decipher, it seems that the gems on the statues inside react to heat. Perhaps you can figure out the rest, Spyro. She's over there. So I will deal with them eventually, I'll just... Containers, all the gems are distracted. I don't need to figure out the puzzle, so I imagine this is going like in order. Climb up. I might be able to find the answers, right? So let's have a look. I think it's... Hey, it's Goomba. Never heard the name before. Right, so it's red. Is it red, blue, purple? It's just red, blue, purple. Skulky, I guess. It is. But there's a green there. So. 
it. I'm not going to spend an age looking out to work out this puzzle. We're going to figure it. We're going to just go on Google. This is the last episode I'm not asked about. Right, so. Um, Enter Dragonfly Jurassic Jungle Puzzle. Red, green, blue, purple. False thing. So red, green, blue, purple, yellow. So. Ah, of course, I can be. So I, I managed to figure it out. So I see now what he has to do. Okay. Hey, it's Scarlet. So. The pictures on the walls. So there, there's four snake marks around each one. So there's four, so that means that's the fourth. That means that it's the second, because it's got two snake marks around. Oh no, no, the other one has five. Because there's a fifth one in the center. That's the fifth one. Um, so if we found like, the red one, that'll be like the first one, the green will be the two, the blue will be three. Now that's four snake marks there, that's three, that's the third one. That's the first one. It's quite clever, I will say that much. Um, I know I didn't see it through fully. No, that's the I, I, I don't want to deal with puzzles. It's, it's, it's just um, I, I, I was seriously burnt by those in Skyrim. It's like every fucking crypt has one. Christ. I don't need to do this every single goddamn time. I really don't. Oh, shit. Um... Let's have some more frost breath. I think most of it. Um... So, yeah, um... Why wouldn't they just put them there? Got to have a nice straightforward final level, can you? Mind you, I suppose. Wouldn't really be much of a final level, would it? Yeah, so there's a good chance that my next video is going to be um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Cast Bleeds. Um, I may sort of like do two a bit of at the same time, so I might do like Buffy and Spyro to like have a break between them. Because I would like to see the Buffy game through all the way through. But it may not be that likely. I'm afraid it may be the first game on a bit of that will actually be a bit of. Um, it's not really my style. Like my, my, my darling Larissa, she's given me so many hints and tips, bless her, on how to. Beat the game. Um, and how to defeat bosses and things like that, and uh, taking equipment and whatnot. Yeah. I doubt it, but I might have. To, I, I doubt I will, but I might have to do some reading of the novel. But it, the, the game is actually based on it, it's not the other way around. Um, I can just. 
Yeah, might do some reading of the novel. And, uh... But yeah, I, I sort of want to get into another game right away. Um, next week I'm practically Seem like a breakthrough, that's fair enough. Now I know that there was a bit with Vasus, Vasus earlier. I will get there eventually. I mean, that, that just about sums up the game, doesn't it? I think I'm now qualified enough to actually say the game that is and is not. And, uh, yeah, I think it. I think Enter the Dragonfly is essentially the least you tried. It's, it's a worthy attempt. Um, but I'm not going to pretend that it's, uh, it's all that great, you know? Uh, it, it is absolutely the game that I... Um, it is absolutely like, like, it is more of what I want, which is more of the same. It's Spyro, it's fantastic. But the technical ability of it is not great at all. And it's a shame that it was like, it was this game that just decided there was enough like after this done it. Those blasted R one thousands destroyed my lab and ran off with my equipment. Um, hello. Oh, um, hey Spyro. Say, I I don't suppose you could help me get my equipment back, could you? Great. Thanks, Spyro. Well, you you, you see all those R one thousands out there? Say, borrowed my equipment. All I need you to do is to get it back for me. Oh, that's all you want me to do. Uh, and how exactly do you want me to do that? There's... Ah, uh, yes. Well, it just so happens that we scientists here have needed to go onto the lava also. We therefore developed these devices that you can use too. Here, let me turn it on for you. There! Now all you have to do is pass through this gateway and you will be able to walk onto the lava without being hurt. Okay, cool. Good. Yeah, great. Okay, so just I'm sorry, I'm having to skip there because I want to eat. Okay, okay. Oh, they have to be defeated with ice breath. So, as you might have been able to guess, this is a reference to the Terminator 2 uh, Judgment Day. What would I say? Um, like the the T Rex 1000s, like the T 1000s, the R 1000s. Uh, um, oh, I see. I have to also pick up them, so I have to go back everywhere and double check. Oh, this is going to be so fun! I right, see one over there. I see one over there. Okay. So yeah, um, yeah, like because uh, we just talked about the Terminator. Like my 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 partner absolutely loves the Terminator films. Um, like Genesis as well, she loves the clock and that. I cannot recommend enough the Sarah Connor Chronicles TV show. I think it was actually the first TV show that like sort of, hey, it was Nick. like the genesis of the popularity of TV shows today. So. Um, so like Game of Thrones, like uh, Lord of the Rings TV shows, uh, like the Blackstone one. 
it was the first thing I think that came up that showed that you can adapt, you can absolutely adapt a film to a TV show that people are going to want to watch. And, like, gave rise to, like, Yo. things like Netflix. Yo. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought it was really good. Um, it's only two seasons. Uh, Lena Headey stars in it. Uh, she's, she plays Sarah Connor, which is not like the choice, but she's really good. Um, maybe not as, like, um, as, like, Sarah Connor, you know, like, you, there are more obvious, better picks. Uh, but no, she's actually like, pretty good. Um, yeah, I didn't particularly like John Connor in that, in that film, but, uh, at least, yeah, I, I'd say the actor and the character. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't really fond of him, but otherwise, yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah, the thing is, like the Terminator, sort of like, dare I say, one and done. You know, so just give me a second. I'll just, I'll check actually. Hello, me. Twenty-one minutes. In. Uh, get me against Dolphin. Save the game. I forgot what the uh, button was to save. So, okay. so um. Yeah, um, I, I, I liked it. Um, yeah, it's like, yeah, there's only so much you can really do with, with like, the Terminator before. It's just like you're just doing the same thing over and over again. What I, my dream Terminator film is, and it's like, it's, a, a fa there's actually been a fan-made production of it already, uh, using, like, the first film's audio and uh, music. Welcome to the Tower of Scary is, like, and Ridiculous Heights! <laughs> You can climb to the top of the tower. You will prove yourself worthy of the tower's secret treasure. Why a tower exists in the middle of the jungle is a secret hidden away ages ago. Ah, uh, this isn't too bad to be honest. Is it a side scroll? Oh, it's a climbing thing. Okay. Do you dead? Yep. <laughs> Just avoid everything at the top. Okay, fair enough. So, oh, there's a time limit. Fan tabby dozy. Um, but yeah, what I really want to see is a. Um, Uh, like a film of like the uh, like when like it's like Judgment Day in like the uh... oh that's no, as far as health okay um, yeah it's like you know when you've got like that blue sky sort of effect, effect like the thunder and the skulls everywhere yeah that, that's that's what I want to see a film of. Um, And uh, a fan did a like a fan production of it was like really good, like like Tom like Terminator Salvation sort of setting that timeline, and hey have all the new beasties and whatnot if you have to. Um, really? Then how did you get up here? <laughs> oh that. Well, there's a hidden elevator that only I know how to find, but anyway, uh, you'll have to keep it a secret, but there's not really any treasure up here. I never actually thought that anyone could get to the top. What? So I did all that for nothing? Well, I guess I should give you something. It's not much, but I found this drag... <laughs> hey, it's Warren! I was just about to say, they're taking the piss with these names, aren't they? But actually, no. Nope, oh, they actually had an old I don't have any more dragonflies to give you, but you can try climbing to the top again if... Uh, no, thank you. Yes, I do, and it ain't this. When I decide to try again, no, no, no. no. Yes, I'd love to see, like, Terminator Salvation with, like, the original practical effects and clothing and like shot on film and all that sort of thing um yeah that would have been really cool uh i'd happily watch that um 
but unfortunately that ain't really going to happen. Um, like, I think the Terminator game, uh, the new one, like, Dark, was it like Dark Resistance or something like that? I don't know. Terminator Resistance? Dark Resistance? I don't know what it is. That one, I think, is sort of like set in that sort of future and looks really good. I played the Term Terminator Salvation game. Um, I'd like to do this again. Ouch! Yep, we gotta do it all over again. That's fantastic. That's just brilliant. Um, and hey, fine, fair enough. Um, so yeah, um, I thought it was I thought it was an alright game, you know, like a decent a movie tying game. Oh, I see some. Okay, yeah, so the flask falls where the dinosaur does, not where you kill them. Okay. Yeah. Um. Emblem for the invincibility there. Um, yeah, like a possible movie game. Uh, uh, oh, I might be thinking of like Terminator Dark Fate. Um, so, yeah. um, but there was like a, a PlayStation 2 game, uh, like that sort of generation, like 6th gen, gen, I think it was, of, um, of like Terminator, and it was like an open world game where you play as Army. Like right around the motorcycle. Uh, that was like one of the early. Sort of times of open world games on consoles. Uh, like, yeah, Predator as well. Predator Urban Jungle, I think it was. I didn't think much of that one. I think I reviewed it rather badly. Uh, not as in poorly, I mean badly. Uh, back at the Roots Game Show. Didn't really click with it, didn't really get very far. It just didn't do anything for me, really. Like, I get the idea. And I, this is the thing I love Predator. I love Predator and Alien vs. Predator. He was incredible there. Um, yeah. And, and the film as well, I actually like the original Alien vs. Predator. Um, yeah. There are, in fact, speaking of which, there was also like an Alien vs. Predator vs. Terminator um, uh, crossover. Terminator's crossed over with everything, like I think Judge Dredd as well was, was one, which I just think works really well. Um, you know, given Judge Death and all that stuff. In fact, just in general, yeah, so it works really Judge Dredd. Uh, my dad and I are quite the fan of Judge Dredd. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yowch! I think Judge Dredd, in a way, is like only really as like good as his villains <laughs> and the scenarios he, he's put through. Otherwise, he's just like Great you know, awful, job, stupid. Man. <laughs> you found them all here. I found this dragonfly under some broken equipment I found in my lab. You can have it. <laughs> hey, it's Jason. I should have saved all the name normal names for this part. Then. <laughs> Don't tell me after. No, I think I did earlier. Put it this way, put it. Um, so yeah, something I don't really like about the. the um. Ouch! The frost breath of this game is it kind of just negates every other breath needed in combat. You can just freeze an enemy even if they're resistant to every other breath. Like they can just, you can just freeze them and that's it. Its sole purpose is to just destroy them. Uh, have you got anything you want to say? Otherwise, I'll skip it. It's Spiral! That bad old thief over there! St thief, got it. First of all, I'm going to take on the channels. Because I can't be distracted, you see, if I'm going to do this. Ah, there we are. So just got one in place. 
that's just what I wanted to say. And now I've got to go after a thief. Oh, no, I didn't catch it then. Still dying one hit the nice one. I'll make sure that. <laughs> nope. You will freeze. And Great. Great, you just glitched out the wall. I would still get credit all the same. It's bonky. Right. It's a good job he didn't drop it in that to catch. Uh, now, nah, what do you want? First of all, I want the gems. So you can sod up the life of Spyro, you made it! Uh... Okay. <laughs> hey, it's Wonky! Wonky or Wonky. Go around again, just make absolutely sure that every single gem is been played. You know, I didn't expect this video would actually take a while. Oh, it opens up, I see. Okay, that's good. Right. So now I need to go back. In fact, no, let's start. Let's go through the beginning of the level and make sure I've got every single gem I've got. I've got the ice breath, so this should be open. Let's have a little trip. Yeah, oh, of course, the chest. Chest to cage. Ha ha ha. Just pull that out of my ass. Cool. Yeah, I sort of feel like some of the humor of this was like kitchen sink approach. Hey, it's John Mark! Yeah, it's like it's not a kitchen sink approach. And it was quite popular for the time as well, just doing an everyday like what do like dinosaurs have to do with the Terminator, except you know, time travel. Not really getting it myself. Um, it was and it, it sort of began with like Crash Bandicoot in a way where it's like they had some good ideas but then they took it beyond like the time travel theme of the game, which wouldn't be visited again, or at least acknowledged again this being time travel until later in the uh, later in the It was just stupid really. Um yeah. I say later installment, much later installment with uh Christmas to call it's about time. the animation team um, were at home that day. And a lot of the animations just it poofs out of existence. You know? Which, okay fine, yeah, Spyro enemies have a tendency to do that, so I will give that 100%. Um, seen platforms down there, but nothing I can stop. And if I could, there's nothing I can do down there, so that's the point. Oh, okay. Ouch. Hey! Ouch. 
three somethings. I don't know what that's referring Ouch. to, I'm afraid. I, am, <laughs> I really haven't got a clue. This is what happens when you skip the text. Fortunately, I can just bring it up on my phone. So I can save time. <laughs> time for everyone. The enemy responsiveness isn't great in this installment, so I must say. Uh, really is in like the uh, in the first level where enemies will cannot will kick your ass. That's okay. That's the pylons all around. There's a portal there. I got a dragonfly. Right? So, I've got all the jams. But there's still baskets here. Hey, it's Karen! What the fucking hell's going on? The gems up there, there was a green gem that just spawned. Tell me I'm not the only one who's seen that. So I've now got all 7,000 gems in the game. Like, I've seen some funny glitches in my time. Well, actually, no, I haven't. I'm fortunate enough to not really be affected by glitches all that often. But this one is, uh... That is strange. That's that's really strange. Like, that's it, and we've got all the gems, and we're just about to get the final dragonfly. It doesn't at all feel... It doesn't feel at all ceremonious. It doesn't at all feel like I've actually accomplished anything. My calculations indicate that this volcano is about to explode. Slide down to the bottom before it's too late, and don't worry about me. Save yourself. Ah, I'm gonna worry about Slide you. down the volcano. I have never had a, a miss from Stuart Copeland, so this obviously isn't his miss. Your say. Why can't I just like exit the level from there? You know, something as well, the way they've designed this level is I don't think there's any way to like have any shortcuts. Like, I don't know, I'm sure you've seen that clip in my review of Sonic Adventure 2. How bold you to assume. Where, like, I mean, everyone's done it, right? Where you're on that massive slide level, and of course, you take the shortcut. Do something like that, and except you don't miss. Yeah, you, you, you take like 20, you fall for like 20 seconds, and then you hit. And when you connect, it's so satisfying.
Yeah, and, like you've got those sort of moments in Spyro as well. Like, I think in Spyro Three, I run Spyro in the Dragon where you get that. Oh no! Just, just yes. Your side. Shift. So now the music's getting good. This is this is good. I don't, I don't mind slide levels in games, I don't really know. I know it's a pet peeve of some people. Nope, I like it. But as long as I'm... Like, as long as it controls well, like, if all of the slide levels were like the one in Monkey Monastery, I would shit my pants. I would shit the developer's pants too. Um, but this one's actually alright, the same in Honeycomb. I do like the aesthetics though. Okay. Why do I want to be at the bottom here again? You made it just in time, Spyro. Here, I found a dragonfly on my way down. <laughs> hey, it's Sarge. Unfortunately, due to the explosion of the volcano, I cannot complain about the name. It seems as if the volcano has stabilized. Wanna try sliding down it? And that is essentially all of the treasure, all of the dragonflies. We don't need to chase money bags back down for any of it back. Maybe that's why those gems were there, it's like a spare, spares, you know? So I got past money bags or whatever. Yeah, they really hadn't quite thought it through. But then again, you know, you've got to micromanage like seven thousand. Like, how do you distribute seven thousand gems across all these levels? You know, it's gonna be hard. It's not like in, for example, Banjo Kazooie, where there's a, there's a hundred notes in every level. It's just one hundred. You've just got to get one hundred, not three hundred of varying quantities. Um, yeah, it, <laughs> See, you know something else? I don't know how to get out of this battle level. Is it this way? It's gotta be up this way, because there's no other way. I don't know why I'm looking for things, because I think I'm just, to be honest, amazed. 6,800, right, okay, so that must be the set 200 that money bags charged me at the beginning. Also, this level has the least amount of gems. My math is correct, you could have about... All of these levels could feature 700 gems except... So, 800 gems except Jurassic Jungle. Which would be fine with the first level, you know? Start it off easy. I've just quit. I think I may have come back to the beginning. Doesn't matter, we've got everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save my uh, current state.
I think in closing, the highest accolade I could give this game is it stops me from masturbating for about an hour and a half, so... <laughs> so... We're now going to go in here and find out what happens. Let's see if that uh, remark changes. Perhaps I might get too horny looking at Rupto. I don't know. So this is the level where we are going to use the Wing Shield. Practically almost exclusively, save for the Thief Den. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, it's... I like the game. It's not good. It doesn't do all that much very well. But I like it. It still has a special place in my heart, and it is a game that I wanted to see. I want to see more of this, if I want to see it better. You're back again? How is this possible? I will take care of you permanently! Oh, wait a minute, I said that last time. I wouldn't want to sound like a video game cliché. Let me try that again. This time, I will take care of you once and for all! Very funny. Pocus! Pocus! So, he has... Ice... So he has these balls of ice that he can't... Oops, a daisy. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how the controls were for the move again. Does it... That... Okay, I'm just unlocked. So... So that doesn't so okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how this goes. Ouch! I remember it being fairly easy. I just don't remember what to do. So I think I just have to keep hitting him. And he runs away. And eventually he'll let his shield down. There we go. No, that doesn't work. I love that window of opportunity to hit there. So, I've got to hit him with a... Yeah, I think I've got to hit him with a... Fire Oh, they have me. That's So he's using his orbs to attack me, and I'm melting them down. And if I keep hitting him like that... He becomes vulnerable. Hocus Pocus! This is second form. Hocus Pocus! So I need more health now. Which I'm not gonna get. They give you all the health at the beginning. Fantastic. It's fantastic. I haven't said that in a while. Okay, so we start on the second phase, that's uh, merciful. So the thing is, is, I can't quite see the attacks themselves, so I can't really do much to count him. He's also easier to hit in this form, because he's bigger. Ow! Yep, okay, whatever. I think this is his third and final form. Damn it. 
I really wasn't very bad at this, I do apologize for my lack of skill. Um, so what's it supposed to do again? Let's see him do his attacks first. Um... I realise I'm getting salty. Um, I can't control the attack, so need to go for melee. Oh, okay, so he does a second round of that, right. I, I'm trying to write the camera so that I know where to go and hit him. I don't wanna get, see, I don't want to get too close. And I don't need to use that ranged attack because it brings down all my health. Again, I don't get any health supplies. Can't really do much to counter it. If there is a strategy to this fight, I don't know what it is. Nope, he's going to do his range attack again. So, it seems a bit random as to how this is working then. Oh, he's going to do it right. So I can't actually escape. So... What is the strategy? What range do I have to be at for it, him to activate his weakness? If I stand here and do that. Oh, he's not going to do his slam attack. So, what am I doing then? Am I standing far away? No, because he's going to activate that. So, where do I stand? Do I stand closer to him? So I don't know what to do here. Do I even have to hit him with the electricity breath? I hope that hits as well. So the 
wing shield doesn't work there. I don't understand how to trigger that attack. Thank Christ I've accumulated all those lives because I don't know what to do here. Um, bubble breath. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is interesting. Unless you've got 85 or 100% the fight ends here. You get to return to the Dragon Rolls with a new ability. Okay. Right, okay. So it's actually better, I think, to do this as soon as... So as soon as you can unlock Ripto's Lair, it, you basically get booted to the Dragon Realms, you get um, the Sparks ability to find gems, um, the credits roll, uh, but if you actually get 100%, which we have, um, gotta do it six fucking times, right, okay, you'll get a couple of winning scenes, okay, right. So, we've got to basically stay out of the way. Oops, and I've got to do this about six fucking times. So I guess this is like a technical multiple endings thing. Worth 
you know, I don't really have, you know, the sort of who, like, plays the Dark Souls games. This is exactly the sort of thing I don't have patience for. Like, trial and error. That's why I always look for guides and look at bosses. Sadly, yeah, absolutely. Does it work? Most of the time, yeah. I want to see the game I fucking paid. You know, a typical D&D combat goes for about four to five rounds. No, between four and six rounds. There's a good fucking reason. Right, I remember like, in real life, like a D&D combat takes. I'd say no, but thank fuck for that. That's climactic. Oh, hello. Let's watch the cutscene and find out what happens next. No! Not again! My plans were so perfect. Twice I put my faith in this staff and twice it has failed me! Dragons! Dragonflies! I can't win! I can't win! Well, that's what you get for playing with your little sticks. Silly Ripto, don't you know magic and dinosaurs don't mix? You haven't heard the last of me, you little demon! I'll be back, and you'll be sorry. Every last one of you will be sorry! Yeah, I bet. At least, he has a reason to appear in the next game, because he fell in lava last time. With no seeming signs of life. Well, that was the end of it. Well, as normal as fairy tales go, anyway, pal. I'll tell you what, though, guys. We weren't just gonna stand by and let Ripto ruin this day for the baby dragons. Right, Sparks. Or the dragonflies. Well, everything is finally back to normal. Isn't it, Spyro? <laughs> so that was an experience. I'm glad it's over. I... I'm glad I played it. I'm glad I've shown it. I'm glad I 100% completed it. It's another game I can last the list. Awesome. words how I feel about it now. Yeah. 
the game is... The game is f awful. No, it's not. The game is decent. The idea is phenomenal. The idea is, is brilliant. It's more Spyro. Like, who, do, who objects to that? Anyone who does, of course, needs to be shot. But the game itself isn't very good. It has too many ideas, it tries too many ideas and it executes them badly. Uh, equally badly. Um, even the slides are the most functional thing about the game. And even they struggle at times. If ever you want to see why, like, a game in Crunch is... Uh, why Crunch is bad for games, this is an example. And it isn't going to get better with, um, with more time. It's not going to get that much better with more time. Interesting that only one composer was credited, uh, Stuart Copeland, otherwise known as the good one. Um, oh, there are other sounds as well. Um... Like, this wasn't going to get better with more time, I don't think. It's at its core, it's fundamentally broken because it's like levels are too big, and you're having to space out too many collectibles. You're trying to give Spyro more agency, but you do it with vehicles, which is what the other, which was the point of having the other characters in Year of the Dragon. You were playing as these other characters to do different things that were separate from Spyro's activities, you know, the things that you wanted to play. Um, it, it's really hard to sort of summarise without, like, actually putting it on paper and editing it and putting it through the video. Like I said, I'm glad to have played it, but... Oh, never mind, the credits are some crap out there, okay then. And that's the game, okay. Um... It's not great. It's not great. Um, the game is fair. The idea is the idea is better than the execution. Let's put it that way. Uh, and that's where I'm going to end because I haven't got anything more to say uh, of value. I, pro I may extend my thoughts in Spyro Hero's Tale. If anyone wants to ask me any questions or whatnot, feel free to do so. Um, but um, I will be answering them in another game. Thank you all for watching, take care, stuff now, and uh, yeah, I look forward to make it play another Spyro game. I, I am glad I played this one, I want to reiterate that now, I reiterate. I'm glad I played this one, I, I, I have enjoyed my time with it, for the most part, but... It has a lot of problems that just start adding up, and it's too hard to ignore them. And they interfere with the game too much, which is a shame. So yeah, so thank you all for ever so much for watching, take care, stuff now.